How long have you been homeless? About three years. And we've been out here for almost two years. How long have you been homeless? I've been on and off for 10 years. 10 years? What happened was, I was working downtown. I was making good money. I was making 16 bucks an hour as a labor foreman. And I worked between 70 to 80 hours a week. Then the job ended. I might want to be a little louder. But I also got sick. So that kind of put a damper on things too. So then I started working day labor, making $40 a day, which ain't nothing out here, you know what I mean? So we just ended up on the street. So it's like I, I'll do everything I can to try to do it, try to get off the street. But when it comes to agencies doing the stuff that they said they, they'll, they'll do, you can't get the help. They won't, the handicapped or the, the people that have mental, mental disabilities have a hard time getting the help that they need. You know, I spend my time doing agency. I gotta go here and there. I do meeting every day, three o'clock every day, council. I don't, they got me on disability because they don't want me to work right this minute. They, they got, they, they want to see where I'm at mentally. And because I just got off my alcohol and drugs, they want to make sure I'm stable. You know, and unfortunately, they were going to give me the voucher to help me get somewhere so I could have a drug-free environment. I had, I had to play, I could have moved in yesterday. Couldn't get the voucher because they want documents I can't get, you know. You're homeless out here, you got very little room, you can't hold on to stuff. They, they, they don't understand, it's, it's, it's very hard to do. Been running with the carnival circuit for the last three years, too. You know, still considered homeless because when you leave there, you don't make enough, really, at the carnival to, to do anything. They were doing the off-season there as they work, you know. You might can afford a motel room for about a month or so, you know, high as the rates are. Mm -hmm. uh, but it runs you over three hundred dollars a week for a room. After that's gone, then you're back out on the streets until the carnival kicks back up again. We had a voucher about a year ago because of his emphysema. We were in a hotel room for like a month. Sometimes we we make enough money. And so, do you have anywhere to see tonight? Or? No, nah, we're going to be on the street again. Last night was really cold. I hope tonight's yeah. not going to be as cold. Where do you usually stay, like, say, tonight? A lot of times right over here. The alley. When we have the money to get into a room. The alley. But other than that, we, we find places to crash at. We got a couple of blankets, but... Where do you sleep? I sleep right on the corner right there. 4th Street, 4th Avenue, and 4th Avenue, 15th Street North. So I sleep right underneath the street sign. So they haven't done anything for you uh, well, for shelter? They, it's a 21 day shelter, but you, that's 21 days, you got to leave for 14 days. You can't come back home, oh, so you can come back after 14, 14 After 14 days, days I can go back in, okay. but I had to wait to 14 days. There's, there's another shelter, Salvation Army, but it's way on the other side of town. Everything I had to do for what I'm trying to do is around here. And, and I'm on foot, no transportation, and that's a long walk. You don't make much out there. You make about two hundred fifty dollars a week. But you got to feed yourself. You gotta... Same thing you do out here with a regular job. You do in there. The only thing you're not paying no rent. You're in a cubicle about five feet, four, in, four, four by five room. Just enough for you to go in there and lay down and go to sleep. That's it. You know, you don't have to. Some charge you for it, fifty dollars a week. Some don't. You know, it just depends on what outfit. That brings me candy. Candy for us. Somebody come over here and gave us this money to get something new. So what we do, we're going to talk about so we eat. We're not robbing, we eat. Eat, eat, eat. That's what we do with this money. I don't always eat. I don't, I don't, most of the time I don't have stuff. It's whatever get donated, they get donations. I mean, I get a chance every now and then get a little something that helps me out. If I don't, if I don't get it from them, I don't get it. You don't make enough to save nothing because they don't feed you, you feed yourself. Most of the food you buy is going to be off midway. Now, how much money do you think you're going to have if you're paying $6 for a hot dog? Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to eat once a day. You know what I mean? So you're getting two something a week. But by the time the end of the week, you didn't spend all your money on food. Yep. And maybe washing your clothes from tan, setting up tan down them dirty rides they got.
nobody to hire me because my sickness. Now I don't have a house. I don't have an address. I don't have a phone no more. So, you know, without a phone and an address, you know, people don't want to hire you. You know, I mean, you got to have some kind of stability, you know, before they hire you. So, but without jobs, man, people ain't gonna know. Your homeless situation is gonna keep picking up the jobs and steady laying off that high. The economy's going down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless the economy picks up, man, you ain't gonna have nothing. It's gonna get worse. You know, it's not gonna get no better. Alright. I've never right. flown a sign, I've never panhandled, never asked anybody for anything. If I didn't work for it, I didn't get it. And I'm putting the work out now to get myself someplace better. I'm trying to get into a better situation. And that's all I'm asking for is a chance. I've, I've, I've worked my whole life. I've worked. Right now, I don't have a job. I have to do something. All I'm going to do is get myself straight again. I have to get up now for the drugs. I'm doing it. But I'm making an effort. I'm not just sitting out here 24 hours a day. I'm not going on the corner trying to beg for money. You know, I spend my time doing it agency. I go here and there. I do meeting every day, three o'clock every day, counseling. I don't, they got me on disability because they don't want me to work right this minute. They, they got, they, they want to see where I'm at mentally and because I've just got off uh, alcohol and drugs, they want to make sure I'm stable. I work. I do, I, every now and then I'll do a little something. So I, I push, I see a car broke down, I push it out of the car and somebody, here, thank you for helping.